Hi, we are from Racing Aerodynamics Department, National Technical University of Athens Formula Student Team, and we're going to showcase an experimental measurement of our single seater's rear wing here at the wind tunnel of the Aerodynamics Laboratory of NTU8. This year, our team aims to take its performance to a new level, utilizing the university's facilities to the maximum by integrating the wind tunnel to its design procedure. is to correlate the accuracy of our CFD model with the wind tunnel's data, measuring the lift and drag coefficients of our rear wing in different dynamic conditions and arrangements will determine the fluctuations of delta CL and delta CD, which will be compared with the corresponding ones obtained from the CFD solution. Equally important is the observation of our dynamic phenomena formed with the use of tufts which are fully capable of visualizing flow patterns aiming to validate the calculations of our computational tool. Finally, our team such as the wheel tunnel gives us a huge advantage in the design of the formula study competitions as few teams worldwide have access to similar facilities. At the same time, it proves that during the conceptual design of the aero packets, we took into consideration experimental data, adding to those obtained from CFD simulations, which certainly do not fully represent the complicated physics of fluid dynamics. The assembly to be measured consists of the rear wing and the hand wing mount designed to resemble the cast main hook and swans. Particular emphasis will be placed on testing different arrangements, as in this way we will successfully simulate different design specifications which could represent the comparison between two or more design alterations during the development of the package. Specifically, the conditions we are going to focus on are, first of all, a maximum downforce arrangement, secondly, a drag reduction system layout, also known as DRS, after that, we will attempt to extract the third flap of the multi-wing assembly and last but not least, remove the second flap as well.